first time to Hangzhou? And it's very important for us to look into the future. Alibaba provides the platform to uh, uh, satisfy the uh, requirements of e-commerce, not only to the urban area, but also as we saw uh, earlier from Bill, uh, to the rural area. And really our poverty is in the rural area. We have to connect our rural areas to the markets this is, the, I think, the genius that Alibaba has brought into the world. And this is what we want to observe and perhaps invite Alibaba to come to the Philippines, not only in partnership with the private sector, but maybe in partnership with the government as well. <laughs> Actually, there's been quite a lot of takeaways. I particularly appreciated the development of e-commerce in China. I think uh, in the case of the Philippines, it, uh, it, for, the, for the Philippines in particular, it showed how government policy, the, both the regulatory and the policy in the environment, collaborated with. But I would think that the most powerful element in the transformation of the corporate landscape of any country, China, or, or the Philippines is really the willingness to adapt to the circumstances. The, the, it's a, actually a, 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 the attitude, a culture change, the willingness to uh, test and the willingness to adapt. And this is so consistent with the Alibaba philosophy, which looks at things at a different perspective. And so that is something I think that the Philippine economy would uh, considerably benefit from. I'm impressed with what Alibaba has done or what China has done. I'm impressed with the willingness of the Alibaba group to share their experiences. I think that's unusual for, for any big business to share their secrets with, with, the, with governments. The uh, example in India where e-commerce e was, was boosted using the Alibaba methodology. And, right, and the most recent one on rural, rural China. I think they will be most useful so that we can establish businesses in, in, local, in rural Philippines, linking them with, with the urban areas. We still use the banking, the banking sector to, to deliver the services to the 4 million beneficiaries. If we can do this through e-payment, uh, I think that would be a great, uh, great improvement in the sense that we can probably reduce the leakages in the system. Uh, I think that in economics there's all, always the efficiency argument and the equity argument. Maybe it's not profitable at this time, but at least you address the needs of the poor people.